Yes, that's right. Cosmic is already spreading to other Linux distributions, including NixOS. I've covered this in a previous video, but wanted to follow up and see where the project currently sits, which is the port of the Cosmic desktop environment onto NixOS. The team that has been spearheading this port has been hard at work. As you can see, currently they're tracking all the components that are available on NixOS and the participants have grown significantly since the last time that we talked about this. Anyways, basically we're all the way down to Cosmic Store and Cosmic Player and honestly those haven't really been released on the normal Cosmic desktop environment. Still in its pre-alpha phase, we're expected to get an alpha at the beginning of April. Full release, hopefully somewhere in the summer. There's a lot of excitement for this particular project. Let's dive in a little bit and check out what things look like on NixOS. A nice blog here from Aaron, a developer at System76, who's helping with the port over to NixOS in effort to port things over seamlessly. Let's see what they have to say about the current progression. Let's first start with what Cosmic is and its history. We'll look into the first blog post from System76, the company behind Cosmic, for their latest update progress on Cosmic. The Cosmic Rust desktop was introduced to us in a blog post somewhere in November of 2022, nearly a year and a half ago, and the team at System76 has been hard at work. If you haven't seen any of the videos on Cosmic, make sure to browse through the channel. I'll put some videos in the description below because you'll definitely want to check out the desktop environment, the NixOS part of the story. First started by Nyan Binary in this issue on October 7th, 2023, and has amazing progress getting everything into the Nix packages repository. I've been working on Cosmic Edit, Cosmic Terminal, and Cosmic Files, and with the packaging and Cosmic applications on Nix and NixOS, this bug was found and fixed. This is largely a community effort with the help of community members like Lily, Instar Light, NBDD0121, Naya Binary, Akenji, and Alyssa is, with other people contributing. But one thing this team wants to know is that they're looking for more members. If you want to help contribute, they are a very welcoming crowd. If you want to join and help, feel free to join their Matrix channel. I'll put a link in the description below. Go check it out, even if you're not going to contribute. It's a great community. You'll want to check it out for sure, because if you can't program, you can test, and they definitely need both programmers and testers. So the fruits of this work and what we're most excited about is to check out some of the current state and what things look like on NixOS. They've given us some screenshots here, and that's why we're actually going through this blog post. We're gonna check those screenshots in a moment. Thanks to this work, you can now use one of the following packaged applications in NixOS. You may need to pull it from the unstable depending on how recent the merge was. Some things in the stable branch, some in the unstable branch, and that's all really dependent on how recent they were making updates. Here are the varying different components on NixOS, but understand this is a work in progress. While significant progress has been made, they can only make so much as due to the fact that it's still in the alpha stage. But this project will follow through into the beta and official release to get the Cosmic Desktop environment on NixOS. And here's our first screenshot supplied by Aaron. This here is the Cosmic Terminal. Looking great with their styling here on NixOS. You can see it's running on NixOS 24. The host is a Galago Pro laptop from System76. Definitely check out their wonderful laptop at system76.com. Let's continue on to the next component. Here we get a preview of the desktop environment as a whole, including where you can search and find apps and a preview of those apps. And since we're not searching for anything, you can see that their system has minimal applications on it right now, including Discord, Firefox, Image Viewer, and Signal. Below here, we see additional groupings or folders, directories, what have you. You can also add a group. And we've all seen this if you use Pop OS. Currently, this is much what the screen looks like. Something different though is the progress bar is here at the bottom. This has been moved. Typically it is at the top, even in the pre-alpha cosmic desktop. Let's keep looking. All right, launcher here. This looks just about the same as it does on Pop OS right now, but it's faster. That's right. Being developed in Rust has made this even faster. As you type, you get the results almost what feels like instantly, and I'm sure that translates over to NixOS. 
With some adjustments in color, we see the settings on the left-hand side as part of Cosmic Desktop, and on the right-hand side, we see some information being displayed as well as the current memory usage. So that's definitely something to take note of. Currently, it's using about 1.1 gigabytes out of the 31 available with what seems to be a few workspaces running. So not sure if that gives us an understanding of how much memory Cosmic Desktop will take up on NixOS, but I'm very confident it's gonna be much lower than GNOME. Another cool screenshot here where we see many things. So I'm going to point them out real quick, including stacked windows. You can see it up here with this icon and you can see multiple windows stacked together, meaning these are actually separated windows, but they're brought together in this kind of a tab format and especially helps whenever you're in this tiling mode. This is called tiling mode. It allows you to use your keyboard to go across the varying different windows and tiles with shortcuts. We can see a purplish outline. It looks very good as theming support is getting better and better here in Cosmic Desktop. We can also see some syntax highlighting in what seems to be the Cosmic Editor, which is System76's rendition of a text editor. Very good, let's move on. Now we have both tiling and floating windows going on, and it's showcasing the new Cosmic Files, which is their file manager. Gotta say the colors look wonderful in this theme. I do like the accenting, and overall, just the dark theme goes really well with these colors. And on the right hand side, we see Cosmic Editor, and it seems like we have two windows open of Cosmic Files. This is where the current Cosmic Desktop environment, built on Rust, known for its user friendliness and features, I believe Nix in the Nix OS community is excited to get this desktop environment, port it over to them as fast as possible, keeping up with the latest and greatest development in Cosmic. So if you want to be part of the community collaboration here in the packaging work for Cosmic on Nix OS, make sure to join that Matrix channel. They're looking for members so they can have everything ready day one of the Cosmic desktop release. I love these active and collaborative efforts to bring wonderful projects to the masses. Great work on your achievements, and I'm looking forward to keeping track of this roadmap for future development. Again, everything is gonna be posted in the description below if you haven't already. Make sure to smash that like button for me. Subscribe below for more Linux and programming videos. Catch me in a great community on Discord, and I'll catch you in another video. Thanks for watching. Linux can be hard to understand, but I take the most commonly used terms, commands, and subjects in Linux, and I break them down into simple to read documents, including Linux terms, flashcards, a checklist, a cheat sheet, and a mind map. And if you're ready to level up your Linux experience and knowledge, go to learn.savvynick.com now and get access to these sheets.